Hi everybody, Catherine Step here at Physic in Action with the ninth edition of Rome County News uh, Health and Fitness Edition, Seniors Staying Healthy and Fit, written on March 3rd, 2015. I had to look for it. Damn. Okay, anyway. So in the last month's article, we discussed fitness for use from their needs to what can and should be done for their appropriate age. This month, I was asked if we could discuss the same issues, but for seniors. This is great timing, as I've been giving lectures on back and balance for the caregivers of older adults, as well as speaking about fall prevention and staying healthy and fit. In addition, on Saturday, March 14th, I will be giving a workshop on back and balance for the Townshippers Association, which is a forum for caregivers and older adults in the eastern townships called Caregivers Compass Everywhere to Turn. This will be held at the Princess Elizabeth Elementary School at 120 Rue Bellevue West in Magog. It starts at noon and is completely free. For more information, then I give their phone number. I do not wish to waste your time reading about medical issues here. But we'll stay in the line of fitness as opposed to health, as it is my specialty. For those that do not know me, I am a private or personal trainer, kinesiologist, and three quarters of my clientele is above the age 60, back then, now 70, <laughs> in which, um, blah, 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 of which had some kind of health issues and had been referred to me by doctors. I actually have two doctors that are training with me for, one of them is like nine years, the other one's five years, and they do refer a lot of people to me, but my own doctor and ex-doctors also refer. My mom was a nurse, so all her friends. <laughs> so that, that clientele loves me. Um, those still hanging around, so the ones that I'm still training, because a lot of them have been training with me for a long time, can vouch that physical activity uh, has given them better quality of living. They may have lost weight, <laughs> but in most cases have gotten stronger, have better posture, better balance, sleep better, have less pain, less stress, and best of all, have dropped multiple prescribed medications. Ta-da! I'm not a miracle worker. Well, I am, but just don't tell anybody. But I can definitely help you to get the results that you are looking for much quicker than the quick fix, um, too good to be true miracle diets or pills out there. It's more of a long-term thing if you're doing it with me. The quick fix is good for a quick fix, okay? What you need to understand is that as we age, we tend to adopt more bad habits and slowly drop the good ones. Mm -hmm. We all have great reasons to fall into that pattern. Money, time, schedule, fear, retirement, social groups, volunteering, injuries, health issues, responsibilities, dot, dot, dot. But in the end, we are giving up on our own quality of life. The body you have is the only vehicle you have for life. If you don't take care of it, it will not be able to get, you will not be able to rely on it to get from A to B or C and let alone a Z. Let's get you guys on track. First, I'd like to commend all of you active folk. Okay, so as we age, I still have plenty of people that I know in their 70s that are skiing two, three times a week, biking two, three times a week, swimming two, three times a week. So they're pretty active. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Where was I? Okay, uh, we had a few consultations. I've had a few consultations with some wonderful people who were still quite mobile over the age of 85. At the time, I had two clients that were eight, over 85. Right now, I have one that just turned 84 and the other one is turning 85 at the end of the month. So I still have two clients in their 80s. Um, still driving their cars, going to yoga, aqua and dance classes. Uh, living in their own homes. Wow, you are an inspiration. Do you know what they all have in common? They all ate well, stayed physically fit and active, and kept their stress level down. They just keep taking care of themselves. 
They invest in their own health, in their own life. That being said, what are you waiting for? Now is the time to take charge of your life. Stop relying on others to fix you up. Stop the procrastination and being lazy. Make time for things. This article's written way too wide. It's hard to keep track of where I am, sorry. Um, make time for things that, you, that will get you moving and give you that glow. You know of the one that gets your heart pumping and gets you all excited? Yeah, that. Just do it, okay? Now, if you are unhealthy, have medical issues, have injuries that are complicated or painful, you need to hurry up and see someone like me. You need a trainer, a coach, who can help you get back on track. We can and will fully assess your condition and needs we will help you choose the proper methods of getting you back on track. Okay. Most times we will need to. We will. Most times we will need you to comply. I'm not sure what I was writing there. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Sometimes we ask you to do things that you may not feel like doing. But trust me, once you get started, you'll wonder why you waited so long. Our eating habits are probably the one biggest health issue around. They cause problems in so many ways. They are the main cause of high cholesterol, high blood pressure, obesity, diabetes, heart problems, skin problems, joint inflammation, gout, liver and kidney disease, and the list goes on. Yet, we prefer to eat poorly and go to the fixer upper for prescription pills and I'm talking about we're going to go to see the doctor we're gonna go see the naturopath you're gonna go see all these people to fix what you should have been fixing with your food okay have you read up on all the side effects of the medications given to you to help to ease the symptoms geez it's worse than the actual problem together we will try to change your eating habits and help most of your issues I'm not a dietitian, um, but I do have eight university credits and a lot of experience backing me up. So I've done fitness competitions and stuff, so I know how to, you know, eat. <laughs> I like to eat. <laughs> when it comes to the mobility, uh, we are in charge of our own bodies. I'm sure you've heard this before. Use it or you'll lose it. Mm-hmm. This is actually true for almost for all components in health. If you do not work your cardiovascular system, you will lose your strength of your heart and lungs. If you do not work on your flexibility, you will lose the mobility in your joints. If you do not work the, on your strength, you will lose muscle. If you do not work on your balance, agility and coordination, you will lose all of these capacities as well. As a kinesiologist, I don't expect you to participate in an Ironman competition. Why not? But I do expect you to try to push your limits, to prove to yourself that you are capable of achieving whatever goals you have set. I can only help you get your to your destination if you're ready to put in the work. You are our, you are our future. <laughs> we look up to you for guidance. Okay, that makes sense. You are our heroes. We need you healthy and strong so you can keep all of your knowledge and experience alive. We need you to move forward. Please make your body a priority. Listen to your body and take notes of changes. Eat well, have lots of fresh veggies, some fruit, lean meat, lots of water, and come back, cut back on sugary, salty, fatty, processed foods and alcohol. <gasps> Stay active and be proactive about it. Exercising vigorously for at least 20 minutes every day will help keep the doctor away. Unfortunately, maybe not to be, maybe not the case with the opposite sex. I'm not sure what I meant there. 
<laughs> Maybe I need to reread that. <clears throat> and remember, if you have uh, health issues or injuries, see someone like me to help you get back on track quickly. Together we can do it. If you have any questions and you need more information, you can call me or email me. Get a hold of me at one of my social medias. Love you, Coach Cat. I'm still wondering what the heck I was writing there. <laughs> Okay, so that's that. Um, basically, if you're older and you have issues, you should be somebody, seeing somebody to fix those issues if you want to keep on living at least well. Okay? Love you.